weekend and I've had a relaxing morning. It is now 11 o'clock and I need to tidy up this place. This room needs to be clear by the end of the day so that we can decorate tomorrow. That doesn't sound like too big an ask until you see how much we've got in this room. <laughs> We're making awesome progress in the living room. Look, the fireplace is gone. That was like a massive weight off. Now we get to see what's behind it. It's not actually as bad as we expected, which is awesome. It's taken me three hours, but the room is clear, apart from this pile of stuff, which I think needs to go in the bin, but I need to show it to Chris before I actually throw it in the bin because it probably needs to go somewhere safe. Well, the rest of the room is done, ignoring the TVs and the sofas and that unit over there. But, but apart from that, it's done. It's at least done for now. It's done sufficiently that we can start work on the fireplace. We've hoovered the floor and it is time for lunch. I'm absolutely starving. It probably hasn't been that long since I last ate, but I've been doing lots of work. So we're having, we are having for lunch, Sainsbury's soup, bread roll and criminal minds. I'm like a month behind on Criminal Minds, so please don't leave any spoilers in the comments. But, oh my god, what a great show! <laughs> I really love it. I'm up to the point now where Morgan's been stabbed and recovered, he's found out his wife's pregnant, and the, she, then she got a shot, and now the baby's been born, and it's all happy ever after. But he's leaving the show, which is a real shame, but he's been a great character, and he's really cool, and I'm sure he's going to come back. They can't do it without him. They can't. They just can't do Criminal Minds without Morgan. Anyway, that is lunchtime over. Now we are back to work. Next is a trip to the tip to go and get rid of the fireplace, the sofa bed, to go and buy some bricks, and then we can get going on the next bit. Chris and I have basically just dragged a double mattress worth of sofa bed from our house all the way down to the car. Managed to squeeze it in the back here and have got rid of it in the tip. So we are sorted. There is a load more space in the back bedroom now. If only we could get rid of the sofa bed frame as well. That might be next weekend's job. But in the meantime, we are now off to home base to see if we can get some bricks and get to work on this living room. It turns out that home base don't sell bricks and we now have to drive all the way to Kettering because we need to buy five bricks worth approximately £2.50. But we wouldn't have needed to if we'd have got up earlier and started working because we could have gone to Dewson's instead, which is around the corner from us. That would have involved us starting actual physical work about 10 o'clock this morning. No, I think that would, have, that would have involved us being more prepared. Or actually being prepared. Yes, that would have been useful too. But never mind, road trip to Kettering! Right. We've just got out of Wicks after being in there for what feels like forever. I, I'm kind of surprised that it's still daylight out here. I think we've been inside for like an hour. That's a little for a lot of shopping for hardware. Now we have to actually start doing the work when we get home. We're not going to get home for the half an hour. It's going to be like 8 o'clock before we start doing anything. Which is really, really bad. Chris, you're going to have a really late night. The <laughs> Minion Ballard! Chris, I don't think that's bricked up. You done? Finished! We are home with our Wix haul. We've had our tea. It is now time to start doing some actual work today, <laughs> which means filling in this fireplace. We bought a selection of bricks, well, five bricks, and some mortar, and hopefully we're just gonna fill, well, Chris is just gonna fill in the hole. I think this is just not enough for it to be a two-person job, but it's gonna be our very first time bricking anything. So fingers crossed it works okay. to be like, I don't know, a 10 minute job or something. That's awesome, Chris. I love it, it looks really neat. As we have been working super hard today, well, as we've done some work today, I don't know. and- No, no, you've not done any work. I spent the entire morning tidying up. <laughs> no evidence of that. There's a huge amount of evidence of that. The fact that the living room isn't full of stuff that was me. You were watching TV. In bed, I might add. Prove it. Prove it. No, I was really good and didn't record you doing it. 
could have recorded it. I could have taken the camera up and gone, oh look, Chris is in bed. But I didn't. Because I didn't have happen. a lovely wife. Because you didn't no, happen. No, because I have a lovely wife. Didn't happen. It did. 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 Know. did. Anyway, we've been working hard and today is our non-anniversary. Today used to be our anniversary. You guys that are married, leave us a comment down below. Do you still celebrate your like date that you got together anniversary as well as your wedding anniversary? Or do you only get to celebrate your wedding anniversary now? Because this feels weird. Big question is, we were together so long before we got married. 10 years, as good as. 11. Was it? Oh yeah, yeah, shit. Okay, we were together 11 years before we got married. <laughs> there we go. Which means that by ignoring how long we were together, not having our anniversary then as well, a second one, we kind of reset back to one year now, even though it's like, no, I don't know, tell me what to do. Yeah, see, so today is our 10, no it's not. <laughs> today is our 12 year anniversary, but we've only been married for a year. So I don't really want to go back to counting from one, when I could be counting from 12. It's a big difference. Anyway, to celebrate our anniversary that we're not really celebrating, but we're kind of celebrating. We're acknowledging. We are acknowledging by going to get dessert because that is how we celebrate the best. That is like the weirdest selection of magazines ever. We've been spending our evening eating ice cream and watching Netflix. And we've just seen a really cool film with Adam Sandler called The Do Over that was a Netflix original film and it was in 4K. So we got to watch it on our TV just the way it was supposed to be seen. Adam Sandler films I, I usually quite enjoy, they're always light-hearted, they're usually a bit funny. This was no exception, made me laugh out loud in a few places. Was a bit of a dull story in some others, um, but it was a good fun film. It was a really good procrastination distraction so we didn't have to do any more decorating. We were too busy, we were watching Adam Sandler. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video or if you like our decorating. Leave us a comment if you've got any good tips to kind of help us out and make the next bit go a little bit faster. And don't forget to subscribe, particularly if you're new and then you get to come back and see us again tomorrow. We will worm our way into your inbox. Good night guys, see you tomorrow. Only rules I had to follow on this piece of paper. This says five days to register, so I would count out five days. Why would I check them earlier thinking they might screw me over? I don't know.